Stephen Yanti with more junkyard crawling here at Burnison Auto Wrecking. This is a great example of Chrysler's B body, which was made from 1962 through 1978 or thereabouts. This one's a charger, and the amazing thing about Chrysler products from 1957 on into the 19 early 80s was their torsion bar front suspension. And here's a great look at it. Now, whereas GM and Ford and almost everybody else in Detroit up front utilized coil springs that were tall and fairly compact, but intruded on the engine compartment, Chrysler used these. It's not a sway bar. It's not any kind of a fortress or reinforcement. That's actually a spring. It's anchored here, and at the front end, it's part of the lower control arm. So when you hit bumps, it twists, and resisting the twist is how this thing acts as a spring. That's the torsion bar. The beauty of these things is that you can adjust the ride height on the front of these Mopars by going here to a bolt in this location here. It's a three-quarter inch bolt. You crank on that thing. By cranking it in, the nose of the car comes up. You can jack a car up about two inches or so by doing nothing other than this, but you got to touch up the alignment because it will change your alignment if you move it too much. But one great thing about the torsion bar front suspension is that the engine compartment is very compact. And unlike Fords, which have a huge spring tower inside of here, Mopars, well, you can put a lot of engine in these things, including the 426 Hemi, which fit without any reworking of the inner fenders. So, you know, here it is, man, the mighty Dodge Charger Fastback. This one here, only two years, 66 and 67. It's sad to see one here uh, on its side like a beach whale. But, hey, you know, the junkyard's a classroom as well as a source for parts. If you like this video, be sure to share this with your friends and always subscribe to the Steve Mag's YouTube channel. See you around for more.